taking wonderful photos of the night sky should not be a difficult task, and for those with little to no amateur astronomy experience, it can be extremely intimidating diving headfirst and purchasing an advanced astrophotography rig. Thankfully, there are those who continue to innovate with the sole purpose of making the night sky not just more approachable, but more accessible. And this is why here at High Point, we love smart telescopes. And this is why the Dwarf 3 is paving the way for beginner enthusiasts to explore their interest in space, astrophotography, and more. I'm Tegan with High Point. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow along as we show you just how easy the Dwarf 3 makes enjoying the wonders of the night sky. So the Dwarf 3 comes with several different imaging modes, so we have sectioned this video out into the following topics. Firstly, we have unboxing. Secondly, we have setup and portability. And then we're gonna talk about the different kinds of astrophotography modes, including the EQ mode. And then we're gonna check out the new daytime tracking feature. Let's get started by unboxing the Dwarf 3. Upon opening the box, you will find a soft case that fits the Dwarf 3 and all of its accessories quite nicely. Inside, of course, is the Dwarf 3 itself, a sleek, lightweight, and portable smart telescope housing a highly sensitive sensor with both a wide field and a narrow field of view lens. Also included is an external solar filter as well as three internal filters for deep sky astrophotography. It also comes with a charging cable, a cleaning cloth, and a basic manual. Now, at the time of this video, the Dwarf 3 does not come with a tripod. This scope will work well with tripods that can tilt, pan, and have a quarter 20 adapter to attach to the bottom of the Dwarf itself. Now, let's talk about setting this scope up, its portability, and how to connect it. As you can see, the Dwarf 3 is incredibly compact and it's lightweight. Now, setting up the Dwarf 3 is simple. First, use the threads underneath to thread your scope onto your quarter 20 adapter onto your tripod. Level your tripod as best you can, and from here you can connect your smartphone to the telescope via Bluetooth inside the Dwarf Labs app. After connecting, the app startup tours the main features of the app interface, and this is the recommended way to get started with your Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. So with that, the first imaging mode that we're going to review is the solar imaging mode. First, properly install your solar filter and make sure the scope is pointing away from the sun before you do this. Use the manual controls on the app to center the sun using the wide field lens first, and then you can fine tune using the telephoto lens. Once centered, select the sun tracking mode under the function panel and select already done as we've already installed the solar filter and leveled the tripod. The dwarf will automatically center the sun a bit more and start tracking so now you can autofocus and start taking some incredible photos of the solar surface. So currently the sun is approaching its solar maximum meaning there's going to be a lot of solar activity on the surface making the solar imaging mode a great way to start looking at sunspots. Next let's take a look at the lunar imaging mode. First, center the moon in your telephoto field of view. From the function menu, simply select lunar tracking mode and then select done already after it prompts you to center the moon. The app should center the moon even more precisely from here and then you can start autofocusing and snapping photos or taking video of the lunar surface. So the next imaging mode is one that we are quite excited about and it's the daytime imaging mode, but Dwarf Labs has added an awesome feature into the app called object tracking. The daytime mode is rather self-explanatory in the way that you can point your device in nearly any direction to photograph or take videos of whatever subject that you may choose. Be sure to change the shutter speed and ISO depending on the brightness of your surroundings as you would any camera. Now the cool feature I mentioned is called the object tracking feature. After selecting object tracking under the function menu, make sure that you're viewing through the telephoto lens and you have your object centered. The further away the object, the easier it might be to track. Use your fingers to draw a square over your subject and the Dwarf 3 will automatically start tracking your object as it moves. 
The daytime photography mode is really fun to use and it's great if you like to photograph nature, take it to your backyard, photograph some birds, or you can even track squirrels as they run across your yard. Or because the Dwarf 3 is so lightweight and compact, you can take it to a state park and do some incredible nature photography there. Now, this is the feature that the Dwarf 3 was arguably designed around, it's the astrophotography mode. Specifically, the equatorial or EQ imaging mode. Before we begin, the EQ mode is essentially when you align your Dwarf 3 up to the North Celestial Pole, the North Star in this instance. By doing so, this allows you to increase your exposure time because the Dwarf can now accurately track the movement of the stars across the night sky. Increasing your exposure time also means increased detail and increased color in your astro photos. So select astro mode on the side panel and from there you can choose EQ mode in the function setting. Again, by following the steps to align your dwarf to the celestial north pole, you can start photographing the night sky in equatorial mode. The dwarf will calibrate itself and the app will indicate how accurate your polar alignment is. The more accurate your polar alignment, the longer your exposures can be without star trails. After your polar alignment calibrated, the incredible sky atlas included within the Dwarf 3 apps is all inclusive and includes several hundreds and thousands of deep sky objects to choose from. And the Dwarf 3 will automatically slew to your object. From here, you can choose exposure times and even the internal filter to photograph with. Now, before we conclude our review today, one of our team members here at High Point, Daniel, was able to spend a lot of time with the Dwarf 3 as well and he wrote a very in-depth detailed article about his experience. You can find this article below in the description. He talks about all the imaging modes and even the EQ mode as well as some of the frustrations that he had during the polar alignment routine. Now Daniel also spent a lot of time dedicating a single night to imaging the Orion Nebula with Dwarf 3 and the results speak for themselves. It's very easy to see how innovations such as the Dwarf 3 make space, astrophotography, and imaging the night sky so accessible and approachable. Having an interest and passion in space is one thing, but being able to take out your smart telescope and photograph these objects in which you become so passionate about is a completely different experience. Dwarf Labs has done a fantastic job integrating the Dwarf Labs app with the actual telescope itself and creating a very memorable and incredible astronomy experience. So with that, I'm Tegan with High Point. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future content or product reviews like this one. Thank you so much and clear skies.